I just think it's funny because when I said that Teofimo, Teofimo lost to George, right? People were like, oh, he lost to a Bozo. I said, bro, that's not a bad win. I mean, that's not a bad loss. Kambosos is a champion, man. For, for Ross Kambosos is a good fighter. Is he, though? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, do I think he beat... Uh, Teofimo Lopez, yes. Do I think it was a close fight? Yes, I think it was a close fight, but I thought the right person would. But, you know, uh, 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 needless to say, people still called him a bozo, right? You know, people said he was a bozo when he lost uh, twice to Devin Haney, right? But all of a sudden, the same George Cambozos that people disrespectfully call him, he loses years later to Vasily Lomachenko, and all of a sudden, it's a great win for Lomachenko. <laughs> oh, wow! He was just a bozo. He was just a bozo. He was just a bozo. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, man. You know what it is, man. Dr. Boxer talking up. Bill, y'all know what time it is. We back here. You know I like to use it be outside. The doctor's in the house. But, uh, you know, it's a little loud out there, man. And so, um, you know, they're still cutting down the trees and stuff like that due to the tornadoes. or chopping up the trees, put them on the corner, rather. But, you know, I want to talk about some things today. And, uh, you know, random... I see a lot of people complain about Earl Spence getting the, uh, getting the, getting the title shot, man, to get Sebastian Fedora. You know, we dropped that. You know, they know we had to, we we dropped the news in the last video where it was announced that he's, he'll, he will be fighting Sebastian Fedora in October. You know, uh, won't be for the WBO though. He'll Sebastian Fedora will either be forced to vacate or strip, which is essentially the same thing. Um, you know, so it'll just be for one of the belts. Um, but you know, I just thought it was funny how people conveniently compare, complained about Earl Spence. He kept coming off a loss to get a title shot. Say that's not the traditional route. Okay, you know it wasn't a traditional route for Sebastian Fedora to even get a title shot against Tim Zoo, coming off a knockout loss to Brian Mendoza. You know, but circumstantial. It was circumstantial because Tim Zoo was supposed to fight Keith Thurman, and Keith Thurman got hurt. So Sebastian Fedora was a person that was, already, that, that was ready, and Brian Mendoza had to fight. And plus, Brian Mendoza already lost to Tim Zoo, so it was just circumstantial. And now, circumstantially again, you know, uh, Errol Spence he lost to who was widely considered the number one pound for pound uh, fighter in the world, and Terence Crawford. That's his only loss. So yes, he lost. In brutal fashion, but he lost to arguably the best fighter in the world. You know, either Terrence Crawford, Usyk, or Dalia Inouye, who depends on, you know, those are typically the top three for consensus. So I just think it's just funny, man. People, when they, when they, when they, when they uh, conveniently want to apply the rules and don't want to apply the rules, you know, it's, it's most likely guidelines. But that also made me think about something else. You know, Vasily Lomachenko, did he apply by the rules when he got a, a, a championship fight against Orlando Salido, his second professional fight? <laughs> Was that... Was that was that abiding by the rules then, or, or what typically happens in the guidelines? No, but no one had a problem, and that's where we're going with this video, man. Why is Vasily Lomachenko hated on by a lot of people? Why? Why? I think Vasily Lomachenko is a great fighter. I think he's awesome. I think he's deserving of all the praise he gets. However. It's the media, man. The media act like he's some golden child. Like, the, the, he doesn't get graded by the same criteria or the same rubric or the same measure stick as everybody else, you know? People complain about Errol Spence getting a title shot, you know? Where was the complaints when, when Vasily Lomachenko got a title shot in the second professional fight against Orlando Salido? And Orlando Salido beat him. You know what I'm talking about? He beat him. But, you know, everybody's like, oh, it's okay. It's his second fight. Let me close these blinds real quick. It's, it's his second fight. It's his second fight. So it's okay. You know, it's okay. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then I, I want to go to this, too. Let's fast forward a little bit. Let's go to George Cambosis, man. Ferocious Cambosis, who I think is a very good fighter, man. Is he, though? And people, I think, disrespect this man, call him Cambosos. I never call him that. You know, I, I get a lot of flack for respecting this man, Ferocious. I think he's a good fighter. Does that? I, I'm not saying he's a cream of the crop. You know, when it comes to the best of the best, uh, I think he's lacking in some boxing skills. But you don't have to be the best boxer to be successful. You know what I'm saying? He was a champion, so you got to respect him as a champion, man. I respect, uh, you know, all the fighters, you know. So. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Especially Ferocious Camposas. I thought, excuse me, I just think it's funny because when I said that Teofimo, Teofimo lost to George, right? People were like, oh, he lost to a bozo. I said, bro, that's not a bad win. I mean, that's not a bad loss. Camposas is a champion, man. For, for Russell Kambosos is a good fighter, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, do I think he beat 
uh, Teofimo Lopez? Yes. Do I think it was a close fight? Yes, I think it was a close fight, but I thought the right person would. But, you know, uh, uh, needless to say, people still called him a bozo, right? You know, people said he was a bozo when he lost uh, twice to Devin Haiti, right? But all of a sudden, the same George Camp bozos that people disrespectfully call him, he loses years later to Vasily Lobachenko, and all of a sudden, it's a great win for Lobachenko. <laughs> oh, wow. He was just a bozo. He was just a bozo. He was just a bozo. How's he? <laughs> so my point is that for, if Teofibo loses to him, it can't be a bad loss for Teofibo, and it can't be a a, a a mediocre win twice for Devin Haiti. But then for 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 Lomachenko, it's a great win. Now, granted, it happens at different times in their careers. Yes, you know, because it, it was basically a do or die fight between Lomachenko and Kambosos. You know what I'm saying? They're both uh, coming off of struggling losses and stuff like that. However. One person can't be bad, a bad, a bad, a bad loss for somebody, and a bad and and, 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 and and mediocre wins. But then the same person turn around and be a good win for somebody else. And guess who it was a good win for? Lobachenko. Bullshit! 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 So once again, it's the media's fault, in my opinion, and how he's covered and how he's graded. Why people don't like him? If that's not a good enough example for you, I have another example. But wait, there's more. How about this one? That's two examples already. He got a he got a he got a title fight, a second fight, professional career, and he lost. Yeah, and and then uh, all of a sudden now, he uh, George Cambosis is a, is a good win for Lomachenko, but for everybody else, you know, Ferocious Cambosis is not good. Yeah, in my opinion, he's a very good fight, and I think that was a good win for Lomachenko. But I'm consistent. You see what I'm saying? I, I think that was a good. I do think Lomachenko is good. I'm just giving you reasons why why people tend to not like him is because the way he's covered. Now the last and final straw is this one right here. I saw somebody, multiple people now, not just one person, say that they want the Matrix, Vasily Lomachenko, the Matrix, to fight Naya Inouye, the monster. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! So they want the Matrix versus the monster, right? They said, oh, that's a dream fight. That's a great fight. Hold on. Lomachenko has spent the majority of his career at 135, though. You know what I'm saying? Shouldn't he be too big? Oh, No. So why is it when we say Javante Tank Davis versus Naya in a way they should fight? That's a good match. People say, oh, no, J- Tank is too big. He spent the majority of his career at 135, too, just like Lomachenko. Yeah. In fact, you know, people say, oh, Lomachenko get down lower. They both, Lomachenko and Tank said they can both get down to 130 comfortably. Yeah. But to further emphasize the point, the last time Lomachenko was at uh, 126, guess what that was? Guess what that was? It was against Romulo Koshisha in 2015. That's the last time he was at Featherweight, which is 126, right? And um, and and guess the last time Tank was at 126, which is Featherweight? In 2014, just a year prior. I guess Herman Ivan uh, Moraes, I believe his name was. So they both went down to 126 a year apart, back in 2014 and 2015 for uh, uh, Javante Tank Davis and Lomachenko, respectively. But Lomachenko fighting the monster is a good fight. Yeah. But Tank versus Lomachenko, Tank is too big. Yeah. So w- once again, where is the consistency? You see what I'm saying? So I wouldn't mind Lomachenko versus uh, uh, the monster. I think that's a great fight. I would love to see it. But I would also love to see Tank versus the monster too. I would also love to see Tank versus Lomachenko as well. You know what I'm saying? But the point is that why are you excited to see Lomachenko versus the monster? But when it comes to Tank versus in a way, oh, he's too big. Tank is too big. You see, that's 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 the stuff that we talk about when we when we uh when we rank these these fighters. When we sorry, not rank. When we judge these fighters. So Lobachenko is a great fighter. I think he's a Hall of Fame fighter. That's a fact, ain't it? Ain't it? I did. I like. I love watching Lobachenko. I think Cambosis was a great win, but Cambosis can't be a great win for Lobachenko. But then a bad loss for Tiafimo and mediocre wins for Devin Haiti. That's just that. Come on, now where's the consistency? You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Errol Spence getting the title shot against Fedora. You can't be upset about that. But then be okay when Lobachenko gets a title shot, his second professional career. I don't care how great and and and, 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 uh, and spectacular his amateur pedigree was or his background was. It's still not a professional. Everybody says the amateur ranks and the professional ranks are different, right? Yeah. Oh, but not when it comes to Lobachenko. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And then and then now you can't I, I would love to see Lobachenko versus the monster. But you can't not want you can't wanna see Lobachenko versus the monster, but then say that uh Javante Tank Davis, uh also known as Abdul Tank Wahid, 
It's, it's too big for Naya anyway. It's a bad fight. Come on, man. Be consistent, man. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the problem with Lobachuk right there. It's not Lobachuk. Lobachuk is a dope dude, humble dude, great fighter, fantastic fighter. But it's the way that he's handled and perceived in the media and judged on a, on a, on a seemingly unfair playing field when it comes to everybody else. That's where he gets the hate from. I'm just telling you that's what it is, man. Shout out to Lobachuk with the Matrix. Shout out to Javante Tate Davis. Shout out to George Ferocious Camposas. All great fighters. Shout out to Naya Mabasa anyway. Shout out to all these fighters. Respect all the fighters, man. But don't treat one up here. And like everything that they do is just up here in, in another stratosphere, and everything everything everybody else does is way the freak down here. That's just wrong, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. But that's all I want to talk about today. We gonna to talk about it more in the stream later on. You know, let me know what y'all think about that in the, co- in the comments. Am I tripping? Am I missing something? Y'all, let me know, man. I love the conversation. But I appreciate y'all arguments. Always remember, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we're nothing. Yes, sir. The doctor's out. Peace. Hey, happy Memorial Day and one time for the soldiers. You know what I'm talking about? Big up. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.